Um, her favorite toy is that barbecue sauce. My little girl. <laughs> I'm like, she's not mean, I swear. This is Stormy, the toy poodle. And this is her mom, media personality, producer, gamer, designer, and DJ, Crystal the DJ. We get to know them both today on Industry Pets. Crystal, welcome to the show. Did you grow up with pets? Oh, uh, I did actually. Um, when I was a kid, we had a small dog named Lucky. He was a little white. I forgot what breed it was, but it was small like Stormy. And then I had two, I, were they pits? I think they were pits and they had blue eyes and they were called Cha Cha and Coco. And I really do miss them. I'm sad that we don't have them anymore, but they would be really old by now anyway. <laughs> Aw, and so how did you come up with Stormy's name? Um, actually, a friend of mine, like, she was um, my ex's little sister, and we fell in love with her. Um, I was like, what should we name her? She's like Stormy, um, kind of like Kylie Jenner's uh, little daughter. Um, I think it's a cute name, so I named her Stormy, too, with an I. <laughs> and so how did Stormy come into your life? Um, well, honestly, so I had another small dog just like her. Um, prior to getting her and the owner was kind of like a janky salesperson of animals um, and didn't give me proper paperwork and stuff like that so she didn't tell me like the dog was sick nothing like that so it was like kind of like a tragic moment then I was like yo like not only can I I need to have a dog but two that was just like so brief and I like bonded with that dog so I'm like I have to get someone like another one but um, that's how Stormy came about and I'm glad I got a girl because I like dressing her up. <laughs> <laughs> you are not only a DJ, but you're a, an established stylist as well. Yeah. <laughs> you sty styled for many celebrities, including what, Kendrick Lamar? Um, yeah, I was on the Humble Shoot. Um, it was a bunch of us there. Vic Mensa, Janae Aiko, like the list goes on. I'll do wardrobe styling in real life and then like costume design on TV and film. Wow, okay, great. <laughs> so costume design, that means do you have some really awesome custom stuff that you've made for Stormy? You know what? Because I have friends in the industry, they give me, like I have my mentor, Miss Milet Nora. Um, she does a ton, like, plenty of movies, but she also has like a doggy, like a dog line. So I love to like go over there. I actually, let me send you some pictures of her modeling um, some of the clothes, because there are some custom um, items that I've received for Stormy. Um, speaking of that, she has like a little closet. Like, <laughs> If Stormy, could turn human for a day and become a DJ, what kind of set would she do? First off, I would just want to have a conversation with her just to see how she feels about my rambunctious life. Um, but then too, I feel like the kind of set she would play, she's a very sassy dog. Like she is giving renaissance, it's giving very upbeat, fun. It can be a top 40 vibe, but it can also be like mashups of like, you know, maybe I'm like a little biased in saying all this of what I think she would do. She's probably completely opposite of this. But I mean, that's what I would envision for her. Very fun. All right, and mm -hmm. what are Stormy's top three dog toys? Oh my gosh, she has this like, <laughs> this barbecue sauce. I was at Petco one day and I bought barbecue sauce and a little like sausage link with the barbecue sauce on top of it. Um, her favorite toy is that barbecue sauce. And then I guess her second favorite, I think it's a tie between a donut toy and this little pig. She's completely torn up. Um, yeah, so you like to pair them up within like a week, literally. And number three? Her number three, I would say, is like when I buy a bone, like mm. an actual bone, but she won't like eat it all the way. Like she likes to play with it, um, even as bare as it can be, like, but that's going to be her toy for like the next week until I feel like it's too ugly to like play around with anymore. <laughs> and does uh, Stormy know any tricks? She does. Um, she knows how to high five. She knows how to show me her nails. She knows right, right paw and left paw, the difference. Um, she knows how to roll over. I mean, of course, you know, she she knows how to sit. Um, she knows how to like go over there or come back. I'm trying to think of anything else. I want to, I'm going to teach her more. I want to teach her how to dance. That's good. That's kind of hard right now, but everything else was pretty easy to teach her. Does uh, Stormy like walks or is she more of a couch potato? She actually, so she has her moments where um, like when I do take her outside, she loves it. Like she'll play all in the grass. And then in the house, she'll sometimes like get tired and just chill on the couch with me. Uh, but majority of the time she is walking around the house like she's throwing a toy or wants me to throw a toy and she'll just you'll hear her little like her collar just dragging on the wooden floor but she definitely runs around a lot she has a lot of energy did you get stormy mm -hmm. from a breeder or from a rescue um a breeder i think i really think she just had two dogs that had a bunch of babies and she didn't really want to be like responsible for that many uh dogs 
Um, so, and I was fortunate to get the last and I was really happy. I was so happy. I, I held her the whole time I was on the way home. Mm -hmm. now why is a toy poodle the perfect breed for you? Because I, they're very smart. Whether Whatever size the poodle is, they're all pretty much, they act very similarly. They pick up very quickly like what your lifestyle is like. Like I said, like she knows how to do a lot of tricks. So I feel like they understand for my, like I live in an apartment. So I'm like, I don't really feel, I don't like when big, big dogs are in apartments because I feel like they're kind of cramped. So I'm like, she has room to run around and stuff for sure. And she's hypoallergenic. <laughs> what kind of advice would you give to anyone thinking of owning their first dog? Spend time with them. Analyze your life and think if you like are ready for that. Take uh, vet, vet trips into consideration because that can become a bill as well. Be ready for that commitment. That's huge. Be ready for that commitment because they're not going anywhere and they didn't ask you to really be a part of its life. So really like show how much you care about your dog because you bought him. How does owning a dog affect your mental health? It improves it. Um, I will say, like I went through a really tough time like after my breakup um, in like 2020, um, and I like moved into my own apartment, everything like that. And just being able to have Stormy there, like I even asked her like, hey, can you give me a hug when I'm feeling down? And she knows what to do, you know, or even if whether I ask her or not, like if she feels my energy is low, she'll come like, come cuddle with me or something like that, or just be her usual self and like try to cheer me up. And I think that's really something that I appreciate with having her as a companion, my little girl. <laughs> Does Stormy get along with other dogs? <laughs> She's more so afraid of them. Like, so I do want to get her another dog just to have as a companion and kind of socialize her a little bit more. But I got her during the pandemic. Also on top of that, with her being afraid of other dogs that are slightly bigger than her, or have a little more energy than her. She kind of likes to be up under me at dog parks and stuff. So I'm like, okay, yeah, maybe she's not into other dogs like that, but I want to change that because I'm, I'm, I'm like a little embarrassed when the other dogs come around and they're just trying to be friendly. And I'm like, she's not mean, I swear. Like, she just doesn't want to be around you. <laughs> Please tell everybody what you got going on and where they can find you at. Um, you can find me at Crystal the DJ, C R Y S T A L the DJ, everything like the dictionary. Um, on every platform, TikTok, Instagram, Twitter, whatever, um, you can find me at that handle and at Stormy the Mini if you want to tag her as well. Thank you so much for having me.